Hello Sagittarian friends, welcome to your June Tarot reading. For those who are new to my channel, my name is JJ. Uh, this is my J Deviance J channel where I, where I bring you monthly and the occasional bi-monthly readings. These are very much intuitive tarot readings as opposed to uh, astrological readings, although sometimes I do integrate astrology just to get a better idea as to how we are being affected by the pull of the planets. And my unique approach to tarot is by integrating the psychological discipline as that is essentially the background that I am coming from. I am a cognitive psychologist, more of a cognitive scientist, but <laughs> very much spiritual as well so thank you for your support and thank you for being here thank you for sharing your energies with me Sagittarius your energies are not of this world but of this world at the same time I love Sagittarian energy because it is so expansive and broad Sagittarius really teaches us and others how to really broaden their horizons. In that respect, I view Sagittarius to be one of the most connected signs out there, reminding us that we are unified. So I'm bringing this reading from the beautiful city of London, which has been under attack since yesterday. And not just since yesterday, of course, Manchester is still reeling from the terrible terrorist attack that happened at the Ariana Grande concert not so long ago. And of course, then there were the Westminster attacks as well not so long ago. And now, once again, we are consumed by terror. So my thoughts go out to everyone affected by this tragic event. I'm praying for all those out there and generally hoping for peace. Prayer is at the centerpiece of your reading this month, Sagittarius. Where it's time to kind of face reality, huh? It's time to get real. Don't mind my nails, by the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Awful at the upkeep. <laughs> Sagittarius, sometimes you're very good at coming and going as you please. There is this wanderlust energy that is attached to Sagittarius, in my opinion, which gives you the ability to be so free-spirited. And that is one of the reasons why people feel very comfortable around Sagittarius or really like to party with Sagittarius because it's because you don't like to apply pressure on your peers. You don't want to impose yourself either, but you have such amazing presence. So when you are around friends and family, you are very much noticed. But it's kind of also like this super fa superpower that you have where you also have the ability to just disappear. So sometimes, it you know, days can go by and we don't hear from you. Using that very same ethic perhaps. Let's apply that to this reading in the sense that it may not serve you very well to just ignore certain situations 
or decide to look at them at a later date where sometimes the solution is to just kind of face some hard facts and some, yeah, just harsh realities when they are affecting you. So we come into this reading, essentially, I'm, 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 I'm sensing the fact that you're not as grounded as you should be. And this may be the result of certain anxieties that have been affecting you. So your challenge this month is to ground yourself. Back to the idea of feeling a little bit disconnected. causing certain anxieties to take precedence in your mind, this may be the result of some decision that needs to be taken. But again, because of your very fleeting energies, which you control, so you, you take the decision to come and go, to stay for a certain amount of time in... Uh, in a particular situation, as much as you also have the power and take control over postponing certain decisions, coming to them at a later date. The Two of Pentacles has that vibe of being able to delay and procrastinate and just play around with multiple options at the same time rather than make a cutthroat black and white decision, something that may have been put off for a while, but that needs to take center piece this month. And I am sensing that this is in relation to your own personal assets, personal resources, things that are very private to you though. So not just the things that you own physically, but also the things that you hold dear to you in your heart is what I'm sensing here. So there might be this need to be a bit more private this month, which is a little bit ironic and goes against my initial idea of Sagittarius being expansive and reminding us that we are all very connected and being that force that we feel like the moment you walk into a room, it's really difficult not to notice you. Um, you're so outspoken very affirming the kind of people that remind us of how valuable we are, the kind of people who want to point out our beauties, but as well the kind of people who will point out our faults. And some, I think that this month, rather than have this outward behavior, you may turn a bit more inwards. And turning inwards also seems to be somewhat of a theme for other signs this month. Perhaps though a bit more direct with the other signs and in your case it's just more private so while other signs may make it a bit more obvious that they need to be introspective or a bit more aware of their, uh, of their thoughts, seeing as we are all actually moving forward. So right now it's a it's the right time, it's a prime time for us to correct any issues that we may, may be having with each other as well as issues and conflicts that will arise within ourselves and a lot of the questions that we could be asking are such things as, well what do we hold dear to us? 
what do we truly value, what do we want to have more of, and what should we really be thinking of letting go of? What do we need to bring to justice? What sort of lessons can we walk away with? Who are the people that we need to approach with a bit more tact? Not because we've been crude, but because they may have not been treating us in, in the way that we appreciate. So maybe we need to approach with this harsher demeanor. But this is not harsh in a disrespectful way. This is forceful energy that demands getting what you deserve in response. So that's what I mean by seeking justice that way. This can also be someone in your environment who does this to you who pushes you to question where your values are, where your priorities ought to be as well. Everyone is getting this card this month. Everyone. It's just a little bit insane. I've seen this card pop out so many times. This world card and this sense of bringing something to completion. Less is more this month. And we need to declutter, not just our own thoughts, through meditation, through introspection. For some, it's... it's a fierce form of introspection with the hermit. For others, it's a down-toned version of introspection with this Four of Swords. And for even up, for, for, more, for more people, it's a combination of those two where they lead the month with the hermit and end the month with the Four of Swords, or they start the month with the Four of Swords, so a more gentler approach and then end the month with that extreme form of consideration for their own resources and belief systems and value systems of how they want their homes to be, their home life as well. For you, it's finding your home Outside of your physical house, where is it that you feel comfortable? What protects this Knight of Wands is his ability, again, to come and go as he pleases. And he may find that bits and pieces of his heart is left in all these different places that he visits every so often. But when he returns to his home base, he may not feel as confident or content as he does when he's making these sporadic visits. So towards the end of the month for Sagittarius, I really feel like there is this need to stand up for what it is that you really believe in. Everything is really tied up to this Four of Pentacles here. And again, we go back to this Four of Swords. So the central focus is to spend that private time really thinking about what you want to keep close to you, how you can declutter all the unnecessary baggage that's been accumulating over the years, because this baggage may, you know, may be affecting you in a way right now that is just bringing more tension to your lives. Tension 
to your in your head space. So here I'm really talking about your mental space. Again with the anxieties. So this entire row here with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and this decision card, this decision that you've been putting off is telling me that it would be valuable to ground yourself And rather than keep delaying things or keep procrastinating, you need to get a bit of a move on. because And it's good, actually, because you're starting to realize that you need to make a move. If this Knight of Pentacles were in the upright, I would say that, yeah, you're a bit more grounded, less fleeting. But at the same time, I'd say that you're moving slow. Since the Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse, there is this push now towards gearing you, well, applying a higher gear, essentially, and just, it's like going full throttle forward, or at least trying to. The Knight of Wands is that energy that counters the Knight of Pentacles when the Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse. So you really, really want to get a move on with this decision that, ha that may be causing certain anxiety in your life. Ultimately, you know that if you keep putting this off, then the turnout is not going to be so great and that you may even start to resent certain people in your environment. You may start to, uh, you may start to have a real problem with people who really don't share the same thoughts and beliefs as you do, value systems that you do. At the end of the month, there is really this emphasis on more traditional thought, uh, applying your own personal culture to where it is that you live, as opposed to relying so much on affording this energy that allows you to just visit different places, visit different, different cultures, to reconcile the bits and pieces of yourself that you've left scattered around the globe. For those of you who are worldly travelers, who don't like to stay in the same place for too long. So, again, this world card is also soul-searching. And that's wonderful. But let's try to soul search because we're interested in expanding our horizons and interested in adding on to our own personal beliefs, not because we're trying to correct, not because we're trying to correct them. There is nothing wrong with, there shouldn't be anything. I, I, I want to reword myself, but there shouldn't be anything wrong with the way that you perceive yourself. And if certain people who come off as rather judgmental make you feel that way, or make you feel as though you haven't been as The word I'm looking for, guys. You haven't been as representative of your culture, of your family, as you should be. That that's what gets you thinking. Are you being true to yourself? Are you on the path that your family would approve of? Are their thoughts? in alignment with your goals and your aspirations? Again, what is it that you want to preserve within this tradition? And what is it that you need to add more of yourself to? Yourself being that part of you that is still intertwined with family values and, and cultural traditions, 
but it is this part of you that is also what makes you unique, what makes you different, what makes you you. Soul search because you want to become more connected with that part of you that cannot be defined by culture, by tradition, by familial belief. However, work towards preserving and perhaps correcting even this notion that may appear at the beginning of the month with this King of Swords and this Five of Cups here that you haven't been as faithful or representative of your own culture. Perhaps some people may be you know, pointing fingers at you and saying, you've been disrespecting our family name or you've been acting in a way that is inappropriate and what, why is this happening and why, and you know, and blaming your habits or your desire to become cultured and to learn about different people and how other people live their lives. There is this idea here that, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say that, I don't want to say that some people come off as discriminatory, but that very well may be the case. And again, when we think about, for example, what it is that happened in London last night and what has been happening all around the world for such a long time now, terror terrorism being so imminent essentially we are talking about discrimination discrimination in the within the human race where certain groups of people feel like they ought to be more privileged or they have the right to impose their belief systems upon other nations other groups other religions other races. It doesn't matter where you come from. We are all made of the same stuff at the end of the day. The fact that we keep coming back to this card, that we keep having to feel like we need to preserve ourselves that we need to cling on really tightly to what it is that we own because we're so afraid that other people are going to take it away from us, take that away from us, that you don't feel safe or secure sometimes in your own neighborhood, in your own city. It's just such a shame. So how do we find peace in our differences? How do we work towards reconciling what we value with what other important people in our lives value? How can we How can we put apples and oranges together and still make them taste, still make that fruit salad taste good? <laughs> Throwing out the oddest metaphors here. Because you want to move forward in a peaceful way. But you also still need to stand up. Stand up to what you believe in. Stand up for what you believe in. What is wrong with me? The last couple of days, the last few days, I haven't been able to formulate my sentences properly. It's really, it's really ridiculous considering that I've moved to 
the, the, I don't know, I've moved to a country where the native language is English and my mother tongue is English and yet I feel like going backwards. <laughs> So I apologize for any random insertion of words. I have also been trying to uh, better my other languages, <laughs> which is just, again, ironic because I'm in the UK and why would I need to even bother learning other languages? But again, you know, we're coming back to this topic here of trying to piece together the bits and pieces of our lives that may not fall into place where we come from. These are bits and pieces of our lives we feel more comfortable expressing when we are in other places, other cities, other countries, and in the presence of other people. Sometimes, though, It gets a little bit sore when we encounter the odd person here and there who may come off as a bit more discriminatory or racist or clash with our, with the traditions, with the traditions that we wish to preserve. So this was a bit of a complicated reading, Sagittarius. Let me know what you thought of it. <laughs> Let me know if you can add a bit more clarity to the matter as well. Here's another final glance of the cards that have appeared for, again, let me remind you, your June tarot reading. As always, thank you so much for your likes, your shares and for your subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed already, please do if you'd like to receive notifications every time I upload a video. I am more of a, I'm, I'm a less frequent uploader than a lot of others out there. I, I just, I, I like to keep it more of a monthly, bi-monthly things, thing, <laughs> um, essentially because I, I don't have time right now to, uh, to be more frequent with uploads like weeklies and dailies are just not my thing. Uh, however, yes, we have been considering, as in we, I've been reaching out to part of this community to ask people if they would like to have a Q&A. Something that we could do once a week, something that we could do perhaps bi-weekly as well, where we can talk about pretty much anything. <laughs> it can be related to tarot, but it doesn't have to be re related to tarot. It can be more personal, less personal, whatever it is that you feel is relevant or you'd like to hear me talk about, we can consider that. So if you'd like to have a Q&A, you can leave a comment beneath with the questions that you have in mind. And if I feel, if I see or notice a pattern, there is an overlap between questions that people are asking, then we can pick one recurring theme and I can do it in a live session, if you like. So in the meanwhile, take very good care of yourself, Sagittarius, and enjoy the rest of the month. Bye.